Hey guys, it's Mr. EJ Stack here, and I'm going to show you how to save your SHSH blobs to Cydia. Now, if you're not exactly sure what SHSH blobs, I suggest you read the post um, that's linked to in the description. And then from there, just follow this tutorial and uh, hope it helps. So, what you're going to want to do is download an app. Now, you're going to want to do this for, say, your iPad so that you can always have your jailbreak you're going to want to do that on your iPad your third generation devices say a 3GS a iPod Touch 2G um, and an iPod Touch 3G so you're going to want to do it for all these devices including all iPhones 3G and up so I'm going to be showing you it with the iPhone 4 However, it is not necessary at all to do it on, say, the iPhone 2G and the iPod Touch first generation because they are, yeah, they're just the older devices you can restore, downgrade easily. So, over here we have the iPhone 4. So, you're going to want to open up Cydia. So, let's just open up Cydia. And um, this is a no computer necessary SHSH grabber. So you want to make sure your Cydia completely refreshes. You're going to want to go over to search. Then you're going to want to search ISHSH it. You can see two come up, both are legit. I would say go with Big Boss. Go it right there and click install and then confirm. Once you do that, it's uh, pretty straightforward hit return to Cydia and hit your home button so we're just going to zoom in just a tiny bit more and you can see right here this is the icon for ISHSH it so you're going to want to open up that and you can see right there my unique chip ID which is ECID and my model which is iPhone 4 it automatically detects that it detects my firmware so let's say I want to do 4.2.1 blob um, you have to do a blob for every one. So if you want to do all, you can simply hit all versions. However, I'm going to do the 4.2.1 one. And now you can also go into here and it'll show all the ones that you have saved. So you're going to want to do save. And this uploads it to Saric server. And um, pretty simple, straightforward, that's done. Um, that's as simple as that. You can do that on all your devices, including, um, well, not really Apple TV, but uh, it is technically supported. However, this won't launch on the Apple TV. So, guys, um, that was how to save your SHSH blobs on your iPhone 4. Um, you need to save an SHSH blob for every firmware that you go on. So. That allows you to easily do it if you are jailbroken. So, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the new site, iOSforlife.com. That link is down in the description. Also, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash MrAgesDuck. Again, on down in the description. And follow the backup channel, youtube.com slash hackmyiphone.com. So, and hit that subscribe button up there, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.